Derek O'Brien, you've been listening to this interview. In a way, the Trinamool Congress has always, you know, has, has been way ahead of the rest in that. All the news breaks that has come from Trinamool Congress in the last few weeks have yeah. been on Twitter. Uh, the last time around as a Lokpal Bill and all, you were putting, uh, posting everything on Twitter and this time on Facebook. So, what do you think of the government's attempts to catch up? Uh, you said it's their attempt to catch up, uh, <laughs> but long years ago, f uh, long years ago, Marshall McLuhan, the great uh, marketing and advertising guru, said the medium is more important than the message, though, or the medium is the message. Mm -hmm. So I don't know whether we are discussing the medium today or we are discussing the message. If we are discussing the medium today, I say okay, because the message, I think that's the difficult part. You know, yes. If you look at it in classical marketing terms and you go to the four P's, you talk about product, placement, promotion, but the problem with the government now is how to fix the biggest P of them all. They've got to fix the big P, which is the product. Yes. So, so, so all this kind of communication, I, 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 I'm sure Mr. Petroda has made a noble effort uh, today, but unless they fix the product, which is in a total mess, and I think you need to really, uh, uh, Sunitra, look at this communication in a 360 degree kind of way. You know, just Twitter or just Facebook will never help. Mm -hmm. You've got to be at the roadside meeting, you've got to be at the tea stall, you've got to be in the cab, the, uh, you've got to be in the newspaper. There's a full 360 degree communication. And those political parties which understand that it's not only Twitter and Facebook which is going to work, but it's this 360 degree communication which is going to work right down to the block level meeting, right down to the small roadside meeting, that's going to be the defining and you factor think, in, and in, you in, think in India. People, and you think this government is not doing the 360 well? See Sunitra, this is an easy time for bashing this government on communication because I think everyone watching on your program, I leave them to judge you know whether suddenly out of this blue, what are we discussing today? Are we discussing the Twitter are we discussing that the government used Twitter as a medium, or are we discussing the content? No, we're no. not discussing the content because they don't because they don't have any content to discuss. So we are discussing, okay, a, a very innovative medium, and I we don't know, and only time will tell. Is this an idea? Is this truly a big idea? What happened today, or is it a gimmick? I can't sit here and judge whether it's going to be an idea or it's going to be a gimmick. Maybe six months down the line, if you keep using Twitter press conferences and giving out information rather than have this knee-jerk kind of reaction as a you can't look at you know technology and say this is a twit this is a social media innovation it doesn't yes. work for me but uh, but uh, good luck <laughs> okay okay Vani is here Vani is one of the you know young BJP leaders who tweets a lot uh, on the NBC a lot of uh, do you see things changing that way as a young politician do you have to tweet now I know Anurag Thakur of the BJP also tweets a lot do you have to tweet no, uh, you see, let's look at the larger picture. India has 10 million net users today. Hmm. It's almost more than 10% of the population of the country. So, you know, if they have a voice, that voice needs to be heard. But I'm very intrigued at all these big words. Mr. Pitroda was, uh, you know, uh, speaking in his interview, democracy, discussion, debate. Also, uh, curiously, his conference was called Democracy of Information. Yes. I don't know. I mean, these two pictures don't match. This is the very government which slammed, uh, you know, social media. Uh, is Mr. Kapil Sibyl and Mr. Pitroda on the same page? I do not know. And a lot of net users in the country today, also a lot of youngsters will be asking that question. Uh, I mean, they all had the black okay. BPs. They all, they all yeah. had their own, uh, you know, questions. So, is it a situation where when the government wants to say something, then we have to nod our heads and say, yes, very good, congratulations, you have uh, finally realized the power of the social media. But on another hand, when it is about criticism, when it's about a debate, when it's about something that they wish to uh, probably not agree with, then they say, no, 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 ban, 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 censor, censor, censor. And also I want to use uh, uh, this medium and tell the viewers that this government also went to United Nations last year and spoke about internet censorship and becoming a part 
part of a country okay. pool so which will look at internet censorship. So if this is actually about reaching out to the youngsters and to the uh, 10 million you which is using hypocritic. internet, that's, it's hypocritical, it's double yeah. standard. Okay. And also, uh, also I looked at the conference of Mr. Pitroda, I was very much online at that time. You were online. He ducked all the questions that so many young people asked which him were what? about what internet censorship. Which were what? What were some of the most So many people said that you are the people who actually no. wanted to ban Twitter and now you're doing a conference on Twitter, you're calling it democracy of information. According to me, I think it is propaganda of information. When you want to propagate, when you okay. want to do propaganda, you use social media. See, the power of the social media today is also about voices which may be voices of dissent. Do we have that intention amongst us, also the government, the okay. to actually listen to those dissenting Derek, you wanted to add to that? Well, actually, uh, the lady from the BJP was uh, following Tripathi, the uh, yeah. press conference. Yeah, Vani. Sorry, Vani. Yeah. And I think uh, this is the beauty of politics because today, for example, in Bengal, uh, we were this morning at uh, Shingu. Today is the sh big Shingu day. Today is Shingu day in the morning uh, through the day. And in the afternoon, there was a big uh, rally which civil society brought out for FDI in, yes. uh, against FDI in retail. Now, because of these two big events, ground events, happening in Shingur and in, in, in the heart of Calcutta, I didn't get time to even send out a tweet. So you have to, you know, that's why I said it's very important not to get too carried away uh, with this social media. It's very important. It's very important and it will have a big role to play. Why do you but think... We Derek, why do you think that the political class, especially in the UPA, mm -hmm. because you know they're more old fashioned, perhaps BJP, we've seen Narendra Modi do that very popular Google Hangout recently. Uh, you, of course, uh, yeah. all your news comes from Twitter and all. Why do you think the old No, that's Congress not true. Sunetra, Sunetra. Yeah. No, Sunetra, <laughs> that's not true what? that all Trinamul no, news comes from Twitter. A lot, lot of things Trinamun come out on Twitter. We got a lot of a reaction. Mamta Banerjee's few. reaction to FDI came on Facebook. And, and a Not, lot of yeah, things. Facebook. Yeah. I think Mamta, Mamta, the, Mamta the, in the last three, four years, she has been following the different social media and yes. never got involved herself. But in the last three or four months, and I think I'm going to use your television uh, um, uh, network to let people know that no one, but no one, Derek O'Brien included, no one needs to write those, uh, ghost write those Facebook posts for her. Those are written or dictated by herself because she's, a, she's one of the best communicators and I'm not saying this to suck up to my boss, but I think she's one of the best communicators on this planet. And when I say best communicators on the planet, I don't only mean Facebook. I but, mean one on one, I mean one on 200 and I mean, and I mean one on 200,000. So, so to, to be a great communicator, you have to balance the use of these different mediums. Some people can do it. I can't communicate to a group of 10,000. Maybe 2,000 in a quiz, I'm okay. Okay. But it takes a different kind of skill. And I think uh, the Mamtadi is using Facebook very interestingly. And it also helps one more thing, this new media. It helps you not to get misquoted. Okay, yeah. Actually, actually, that's a very valid point. When we looked at what Narendra Modi ji did with the Google Hangout, he was talking to a global audience. But why? I mean, why I mean, he, I, mean I, believe, you, I believe, I believe, I, I didn't see that one. Neither did I. You know, part of, we just had a reporter who uh, took part in that. But I believe he screened some of the questions, which, of course, as you pointed out, even Sam Pitroza didn't answer a lot of questions which were You see, you see, why the, the part of the Hangout that I saw, it was a live global audience. Yes. And, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, the, this famous actor that we have from Bombay was the interlocutor, Ajay okay. Devgan. And everyone asked him questions which were direct questions. So if they were screened, okay. you would not have a live audience, number one. Number two, the larger messaging, the larger messaging that Mr. Brian is talking about. You know, it has to be a convergent effort between sure. the voices which are on various, which are, which, are, which are on various, so, you know, um, oh. microblogging, uh, internet, uh, Twitter, Facebook. Oh, that but the government's okay, intent out of towards time, the internet but I want has to, to become I want clear. you and Derek to finish by giving at, out of ten this effort of trying to be on because you guys are way ahead in that. So out of 10, how do you think Sam Petroda in the first press conference on Twitter went? I don't want to give it any percentage, but I think poor. poor. Derek, any marks? Yes, yes. The Trinamool Congress believes the people who, the, the only people who are qualified to give you marks and they are waiting with their pens to give marks to What's the marks out of Congress 10? government. So they on will give the marks. Attempt. They will give, they will give the marks. See, listen. 
you we cannot have, have time, you Derek. cannot you we cannot can only i'll tell you 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 cannot you cannot give marks when the product is wrong so the hmm. you, okay. they first have to fix the product which they not going to fix all right and so. the performance is poor what are we give, giving marks for actually <laughs> such a poor absolutely poor government okay. i love the story completely. not not okay, a huge down. but then we don't have the anyone from the government defending it just starts so maybe that's not fair vanidhi party derek o'brien <laughs> thanks very much for that Thank you. Good night. that's Thank all you we have much. on the special at uh, 10 tonight we'll be back again tomorrow join us then goodbye